Okay, in this test, what we're going to do is we have it hooked up to a... Our test bench uses a spinning wheel with two magnets on it. We can either put two or four depending on the vehicle that we're doing it. And then we have a power supply that's hooked up. And then we're going to use just a... We usually have a... Uh, soldering iron that's set to a temperature and we can check the calibration but I'm just going to use a cigarette lighter just to show you the motor temp that changes so the first screen is motor the second screen is air and then the third screen shows you the average min and max and the maximum temperature of the motor so on the first screen we're showing 67 degrees and if I just hold it my fingers just for a few seconds it changes it's up to 71 so now I'm going to turn on external power, and you can see I'm running 41.3 volts, and this is a variable power supply. And I have the low voltage set to 41, that's the yellow LED, and the danger set to 39. So when I reduce the voltage, and right at 40, we start getting a yellow LED that tells us that we're running out of batteries. Continue to decrease the voltage below 39. And now I get flashing LEDs for it's time to stop because your batteries are dead. If the LEDs go solid, those are warning indicators for temperature, which presently I have set to 167 degrees for danger and 149. So now you can see that I'm over temp. I've heated up to 100, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and we have the solid red. And as it cools, we'll see the red LED go off first. So the solid LEDs are temperature, the flashing LEDs are voltage. So the red one went off, we're below 169. And as we cool down below 147, there we go, or 149, sorry. Okay, so that's all the different inputs to it. Now I'm going to throw some speed. And I got it set up for 28 miles per hour with these two magnets and the tire speed inside. With one magnet and your size wheel, you're going to be looking at about a 1470 to 1500 tire size setting. Okay, that concludes the video. If you have any questions on setting up these screens, please give us a call or send us an email at info at edt-xray.com.